What it is and what it ain't, I'm going to let y'all know what I think. This your boy Goldmouth Shorty from Dumb Eye TV. Today we finna talk about Mob James, man. You know, a lot of people talking about Mob James. His name is in the headlines, so we got to discuss it, man. First of all, you know what I'm saying? That boy Wack 100 say Tupac never put Mob James on his two bad pockets. But, you know, sure, he from the hub, you know what I'm saying? And he say that boy Wack 100 ain't from the hub, so... He wouldn't know uh, Mob Pyru business anyways, you feel what I'm saying? So y'all take that with a grain of salt, everything that Wax said, because he wasn't there. But he did say Mob James is a rat. I'm going to play y'all a clip. Y'all get in them comments and let me know what y'all think. Just chill. And ain't no you talking about Tupac putting Mob James on his pockets. Get the fuck out of here. You want to attack Reg? Everybody knows from the beginning, even though Mob James is a rat, from the beginning, Mob James was your strength. He the one brought all them niggas around. The one bunch we talking about as Mob James' little brother. And ain't no you talking about Tupac putting Mob James on his pockets. Get the fuck out of here. Listen, one thing about whack, y'all know this. Whether I fuck with a nigga or not, I'm going to call a spade a spade. Back in uh, 2005, I was in MDC. It's called Metropolitan Detention Center. It's a, it's a federal uh, holding center, or, you know, for free trial. Downtown L.A. I was down there uh, doing a violation. And uh, that's, that was going all through the building. You know what I'm saying? Reason I never brought it up, because it ain't my, my fucking business. But that's all that was going through the building. That Mom James set people up. He did some shit in Las Vegas. This and this and that. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, his co-defendants was in there. And, and his enemies was in there. George and... Uh, uh, Boulevard Rob, both of them was in there. I used to talk to him through the vent and all that shit. They was, but his name was popping up in there. They were saying he was snitching and all this old shit. I been knew that shit, though. But it ain't none of my fucking business. You know what I'm saying? I been knew that I was in MDC when he did that shit. And as of him saying, uh, I'm a buster, I was scared to come up there, the police was up there. Yeah, the police was up there because you was there, motherfucker. paper oh yeah he did it and then the shit he was saying um it kind of pissed me off but then i said i got too much to lose you know what i'm saying Vlad, to put myself out there for something i know that's not me you know what i'm saying at that time of 2000 he's saying i did him like this i ain't been to prison in, since 1988 i had a case in 92 which I sat in jail till it was over and done. And uh, I got an accessory after the fact on that one. My little homie went to jail for the case. And I got an accessory after the fact on, on that. So did our little time on that. And that, after that, I haven't seen a jail. I, I, don't, I didn't have a reason, you know. I got brothers, my mothers, my sisters, my whole family in Compton. So I know I wouldn't play a game like that. You know, I really didn't even want to bother with it. So I went on bomb first to speak on this shit. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm, I couldn't give my way after Wagnum came in on it. It's just a whole bunch of hollering bitches and you can't talk why everybody else want to talk. So I basically hung up from that because I'm not going to do no Holland match, none of that other bullshit. And I just I just stood back. You know, people don't know me. All these people coming and all, and 